Very excited to hear from these students about their experiences uh, in these three fellowship programs. Many of the students I know studied with me and I know they've done incredible work this winter. So I'm, I'm really, really excited to hear about what, what's happened. Um, as many of you may know, public action at Bennington is organized around the abilities of our graduates to take effective action in <clears throat> the world of matters of great concern. And the three fellowship programs um, give students the resources and mentorship to engage in learning and action uh, through their field work term experiences. I'm just gonna mention a little bit about each fellowship. Uh, the Food and Security and Population Health Fellowships uh, built off two areas of work that began last year. This was a three-year community collaboration to address systemic causes of food insecurity in Bennington County that we were very fortunate to get a grant from the Andrew W. Mellon Foundation. Uh, the, this work is also a very important partnership with our partners um, involved in this grant and that do tremendous work for our community, the Southwestern Vermont Medical Center. And they provide, they're providing these fellowships in population health, um, where students worked with five different community organizations to address various dimensions of population health with a focus on food insecurity. Uh, the second fellowship is the Newman and Cox Public Action Student Fellowship, and that supports students in internships and independent projects uh, uh, addressing a range of world issues. And I'm very interested to hear uh, what the students have accomplished uh, who got these fellowships. And then finally, the Iftikhar Entrepreneurial Student Fellowship, of which one of my advisees has. I'm very excited to hear about her work. Uh, where students spent their fieldwork term learning how to start and own their own business, nonprofit, or freelance venture. So I just want to end by recognizing the generous support of our donors and foundations that make these grants possible, allowing students to uh, you know, realize their goals for their public action projects, regardless of their economic circumstances, um, you know, we have, this is just fairly recent in terms of all the time I've been at Bennington that we've been able to fund these kinds of projects. And so we are hoping to only build on this grant process in the future because it's, I, I think as students will show, the work is really important and uh, it's, it's, it's just a really phenomenal program that happens at Bennington College. So with that, I'm going to turn it over to Brenda to, to continue to proceed.